If you've been following along, open our first exercise. Here we have a simple animation with just five frames in the X sheet and five frames in the level strip that match. Click this down arrow to expand the tools and select the Pinch tool. Also, in the Tool Options bar, click Manual. This allows us to adjust the influence of the tool. Click and drag on the small square to expand or contract the amount of influence. Position the tool near a corner and drag outward. Do this on all four corners. In the level strip, we can see that this newly adjusted frame doesn't match the sequence. Select the entire sequence of drawings and click the In Between button. These are the options for automatic in-betweening. Let's stick with the default. Let's see how intelligently Open Tunes has interpolated the frames. The result looks very good indeed. Select all the cells in the X sheet by clicking on the first frame and dragging downward. Then right click and select Swing. Open Tunes has automatically tweened a reverse animation after the last frame. Select all these new frames by clicking in the first cell and dragging downward. Then right click and choose Reframe. Twos. Animating on twos gives us a much smoother animation at 24 frames per second. Let's observe this. Now, let's add some life and movement to our simple animation. Choose the Selection tool, click on the outline, and drag the first frame down. Click the last frame in the level strip and then drag the red handle all the way up. This gives us a full set of preceding onion skins. Click on the second unique cell in the X sheet, go to the viewer, select the outline, and drag it down. Proceed every other frame in the X sheet. Continue by selecting each unique cell in the X sheet and adjusting it in the viewer as shown. Remarkably, Open Tunes has updated every unique cell in the X sheet, even those we haven't manually updated. Right click in the viewer and deactivate the onion skins. Now click the loop icon in the control bar or console. Click this button in the control bar to return to the first frame of the animation. Right-click in the Level Palette and select New Style to create a new color. Click somewhere here and select this shade. Apply that shade to the newly created style. Select the Fill tool from the Toolbar and from the Tool Options bar, select Frame Range. Click once in the first frame, select the last unique frame and click in the viewer a second time. Check for success by scrolling through the frames. Some outlines were not filled. Let's try the same technique in the level strip. Click once, select the last frame, and click a second time. You can see that this worked much better. Let's now add some detail to our drawings. Select the first drawing in the level strip. Right-click in the style palette and create a new style. Make a darker shade of the same color. Click and drag to the left in the row labeled M, which is your alpha channel, and apply. Select the brush tool 
and scroll in the viewer to enlarge the view. Let's paint some hatched shading in this drawing. Select the last drawing in the level strip and paint some hatching in this one as well. Make sure to draw your hatching in the same order and direction as in the first frame, from top left and from left to right. Click a drawing in the level strip and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-A to select all frames. Keep with the default method and then click the In Between button. Click a cell in the X sheet and then the loop icon in the control strip checking for any inconsistencies in our hatching. Some drawings need some touching up. Find the inconsistent drawings and touch them up as shown. Click a cell in the X sheet and then the loop icon to see if you had success or not. We achieved all these results by simply manipulating five drawings in the level strip.